Korea just trolled North Korea with K-pop. We recently did a video where we talked about the actual possible threat of North Korea and South Korea going to war. We will link that video below. But this is hilarious. Yeah. They listened to Big Bang on repeat. <laughs> is that even like threatening? No, it's not threatening at all. What happened was there was some disagreement because of landmines that went off. And so South Korea started spouting propaganda. Well, this propaganda, which was placed amongst the DMZ, which is the border between North and South Korea, there was 11 different loudspeakers that were connected to stereo systems, apparently, or computer systems that were mostly playing K-pop. That's the propaganda that they were spouting. <laughs> I mean, they were actually doing messages, too, where they were saying certain things about government things, political things. But mostly what North Korea was hearing over the border was music. <laughs> and they it just came out recently. They should be having a dance party over there. The more they heard it, the more they probably liked it, don't you think? I, I should hope so. Or it could have the opposite effect, you know? Like, if you're listening to a song on repeat, it does eventually get annoying. Like, Christmas music, by the time it gets to, like, after Christmas, you're like, change the station already, I've had enough wham. Think about the music you're listening to in North Korea right now, though. They're still in the 1950s and 60s. They listen to Arirang, and that's it. Yeah. I don't know if Arirang is a song or a dance, but they do this big Arirang dance. It's both. <laughs> okay. But it's not K-pop. I mean, they don't have any exposure to that really at all. Unless you live on the border of North Korea and China, some of the people that live up close to China do get radio stations from China if they're able to speak Chinese or if North Koreans have crossed over and made their own radio station, which I think is probably illegal. But then the only other way you're going to get any exposure, because there's no internet in North Korea, is to live close to the border in South Korea and hope that there's some sort of skirmish and then South Korea starts pouting K-pop music. <laughs> You know what I kind of feel slightly bad for, though? The South Korean soldiers and the American soldiers <laughs> that are stationed on the DMZ that have to hear it on repeat that are close to the speakers. That might not love K-pop to death like some of you. You hear Big Bang and you get really excited. If you hear Big Bang 20 times and you're not a K-pop fan in a row. Who are they actually trolling anyways? <laughs> what do you think about this as being a political strategy towards making better relations with North Korea? I, it's not gonna make things better. If you annoy your neighbor, you're not going to become better neighbors. Well, they're annoying the people that are in charge, but they might not be annoying the people. The people might like it a lot overall. But it's not like we're ever gonna find out. No, we might down the road if they continue to do this sort of thing, not push it, but just gently spread soft power with K-pop and that sort of thing. I mean, that's sort of what they're doing, is trying to say, hey, look, this is what we're doing over here. I know most of the people that live over there don't really know about this. And yeah, it's probably gonna annoy the politicians or the people in charge, but there's a lot of people over there that have no control. And so hearing this sort of thing just opens up their mind a little bit and makes them think a little bit more. Hey, how come we don't have this sort of thing? And hey, they're singing in Korean. This is really interesting. I mean, if you think about the advent of the internet and all of a sudden now we have all this more information at our fingertips, everybody does. We're all becoming a little bit smarter, a little bit more enlightened as a society. And so North Korea is sort of left out of this. And then South Korea is like, oh, you guys blow up landmines. We're gonna play this music. But actually it's a really good idea, at least I think it is, not to do it too much. But how else do you spread goodwill over there, it's how do you do it? It's certainly better than like throwing missiles and sending missiles over there. I also wonder how much they actually understand because the South Korean language has actually changed and transformed because of, you know, slang and English words and stuff like that that North Korea doesn't have. You've heard Koreans say that to both of us many, many times, how different North and South Korean languages at this point, but it can't be any different than say British and American English or Aussie and American. You know what I mean? Like it's still the same language. So they're still gonna be able to understand each other even if they have this, I can't understand what they're saying mentality. You ever listen to that North Korean news? Yeah. South Koreans can understand them. What's your reaction to K-pop being blasted in North Korea? What's your reaction to Big Bang being played on repeat? Would it drive you crazy or would you have a dance party? <laughs> Drop a note down below. Thank you for watching you guys. Click the like button on this video and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. That's it, we're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.